Welcome back. This is Melissa Greer. Today we're talking about when to rent versus buying. I think in a market like we've been in, we're seeing a lot of people choose to rent because they just get exhausted with the bidding wars. They, they've gone through so many attempts to purchase and it's just not working for them and they need to, some stability. So the, at a point in time, if a market is just so much a seller's market, sometimes it is good for a buyer to rent if they can and let things calm down a little bit. The other time is if you don't know you're gonna be in a place and you, you're not really sure that it's gonna be a permanent move for you, then renting makes sense. And then the third is if you know you're moving but you just don't have time to learn the area, you don't feel like you've got a good feel or a direction of where to buy, then renting short term is helpful then too. It just gives you an opportunity to get to know the area, figure out where you wanna be, what neighborhoods you like. So all those things I think I would recommend, but but overall we always recommend buying <laughs> other than renting because you're, you're building toward an investment and renting, you really aren't, you're just helping someone else's investment. I was just trying to think of benefits of renting. I would say it just doesn't commit you. It's so, you, you're committed for a shorter period of time. You don't have to worry about maintenance as far as if a roof leaks or if a furnace stops working. The owner's gonna make those repairs. If you move in somewhere and you just don't feel like it's comfortable, you're there a limited amount of time and you can find something else. So those are the benefits. The negative is just that it's really, you know, sometimes with the right agent in the right circumstance, you're gonna know where you feel comfortable and then it just gives you a jump start on getting settled in your new city. The first thing I always recommend is let us connect you with a mortgage person that you can decide what you could buy right now and if now's the time or if you had six months to save more money, would it be more in line with what you want? You know, financial situation is the biggest because that depends, but right now the rents are higher than what your mortgage payment would be. You, you need to either need it or want it. And and sometimes you don't have a choice. Like if, you, if you're in a position like a lot of first time home buyers where, you know, the investors are back in the market and it's so competitive and they keep losing these houses, then, you know, after a while, then you should rent and let the market calm down a little bit. But overall, throughout my whole career, we've always, impress people the importance of buying over renting if they, at all possible. Thinking through things and wondering if I've ever worked with anyone who just wanted to rent, if they do want to rent for whatever reason, then we try and help them do that. You know, we have a lot of connections with property managers. We even in our MLS have a section of houses for rent. So, you know, there, and there are a lot of realtors who own rental property, so we can network through our company. So we're always happy to help people either way, but the main thing we do is sales. It's always so great when you meet someone who thinks they can't buy and they just automatically want to rent and you ask them a few questions and people don't realize connecting them with the mortgage lender is so pivotal in the early part of the process because I had a tenant myself one time, and this is a great story, I had a tenant myself who rented for me and he brought me the rent one month and I said, you know what, you could buy that house and your mortgage payment would be less. And he said, well, I don't have any down payment. And I said, well, let me refer you to a lender because there's different programs. He called the lender and they said, well, if you have a 401k, there's your down payment, you can borrow against that. And he did, and he bought that house, which I had owned it long enough to where it was time. And I felt like, I just felt bad almost getting the rent that was so much higher than what his payment would be. And it was a house that he loved. So that's a good example of not knowing that there are alternatives and just always try and researching and make sure you can connect with a mortgage lender who can advise you. One thing I will say is always trust your realtor to connect you with a mortgage person or come up with ideas, or it could be another finance person. Sometimes people can do short-term financing based on their own home or they can borrow against a brokerage account. So there are other people that you can reach out to, but I would start with your realtor because we, we can always guide you to the right person. If we don't know the answer, we always can find someone who has the answer. These are just a few ideas on the differences between whether you should rent or buy and what's appropriate. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.